Hi guys, I'm Marley Silva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Why is it echoing? Oh yeah. All right, round two. Hi guys, I'm Marley Silva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Woo! So in this video, I don't even know. Okay, microphone is on. In this video, I'm going to be doing my Valentine's Day get ready with me. I am so excited to, pl to play in this video. What? To film this video. I'm literally wearing like little pink butterfly earrings. I have my nails painted pink and I'm gonna be using two, well, I'm using three ones, a purple one, it's like a mini one, but I'm using a fresh, mm -mm -mm, fresh pink big beauty blender and then I'm using a medium sized tapered one. I've only used this one time before and I'm literally so excited. Also, you guys, I, I don't know how well it's gonna show on camera, but, I have like the red lights on behind my TV to keep it very like in the mood of love and very moody, lovey, whatever you want to call it. And then also I'm going to be using the Morphe 35 T sweetest, what? Sweetest tea palette. <laughs> Again, love that that comes with, oops, love that that comes with a wax paper. Here's what the palette looks like. I mean, I am so excited to dive into this section right here. I wanna do something with pretty much all the pinks and reds. So I am literally so excited to play with this palette. Also, not just that, but I have a little thing of goodies right here. All of this is going to be in a haul that I'm gonna be posting. I think the haul doesn't come out till March, which is crazy, but I'm gonna also be using a lot of stuff in here because Obviously it's new and I wanna play. So this is just gonna be a super chill, get ready with me. Love is in the air, you guys. And let's just get into it. Also, I have the heater running in the background. I am sorry if it affects the audio. I don't feel bad because it is literally, I'm gonna pull up the weather, you guys. It's not that bad today, but it is minus 20 and it feels like Minus 26. I think yesterday and the day before it was like minus 30 and it like 30, 31 and it felt like minus 40, minus 41. So it is really cold here. I literally had to have the heater running in my bedroom all night. I'm just gonna prime with the baby skin. Um, but yes, I literally had to have my heater running in the bedroom all night because it was that cold. And um, now I have it in the living room because it is just, so cold you guys i had to let the living room heat up while i was in the shower and for like two hours before i even started filming this video so i'm in sweatpants i'm in a cute gray tank top i'm also wearing i don't think i've ever worn hold on my hair looked cute and now i'm messing with it um i don't think i've ever worn this it's from urban outfitters you're supposed to wear it like this it's so cute it's like a skinny bitch cropped cardigan but I'm wearing it on button because it's cold and I just don't really want like bare nakedness. Like it's cold, I'm not tan, you know? So that's the vibe. But I'm just like so excited to film this. I'm so in the mood of love and peace and unity and honestly just like love. So I'm really excited to film this. Oh, and I'm already out of breath. Oh, and a nice cold water is just so good. For a foundation, I literally use this in like every video. I need to go, I don't even know, I go shopping in chunks. So like sometimes I'll shop for mascaras or highlighters or blushes or like lip products, but I haven't really touched foundation just cause this has been my favorite. But honestly, I should probably dive into trying new more face, new more face products? Trying more face products, but we'll get there guys. We have the whole, we have our whole life to play, so. I'm in no rush. I have no idea how this look is gonna turn out. I'm just so excited to finally play with this palette because when I first ordered it, I was like, oh my God, I literally want this for the pinks and purples. I am literally just putting so much foundation on. My skin has been clearing up, which is nice. I went through a period where I had like, I don't even know if it was like hormonal or if I was just like stressed or it was just the weather. My skin was just like not happy with me, but it seems to be back on track. But I am so excited for Valentine's Day. I I love Valentine's Day. It's so 
it's so good. I just love Valentine's Day. Last year, my partner actually literally went all out, which makes me so happy thinking about it because it was probably one of the nicest things he's ever done for me. And it was just so nice. It was so sweet. And it's, it just makes me happy inside when I think about it. But last year, he, um, I was at work. I, I used to work from home. And I was working and he was like, don't look behind you, just like work, whatever. And, oh my goodness. And um, he was like, yeah, don't look behind you. Like I'm gonna do like a surprise for you. So literally I got off work and he was done the surprise and I looked behind me and there was this trail of like little chocolates all the way until the bathroom and then there was one to the kitchen and when I went into the kitchen, um, I'm done foundation, I'm going to set my face. But anyway, there was a trail. I need to like, I'm like ADD right now. I wanna use this new cream bronzer I got. Yes, I'm going in, I've never used this for this brand. It's Nude by Nature and it's in the shade, it's a concealer and it's in the shade 08 Cafe. I've never used this brand before. It was at Shoppers and it was relatively inexpensive. It was like $5 on sale. I think they were clearing it out. And um, I just got like a, sh a couple of shades. What? What, Marley? I just got a couple shades darker and I'm already loving this shade. It literally looks like Hula Bronzer in a cream. So, so excited. But yeah, they literally had I'm gonna do like a baby bit down here. They literally had, I can't think straight, everything for $5. And when I went on shoppers.com, they were all selling for like literally, I wanna say like 30 bucks. So I felt kind of cool that I got a little bit of a deal. And it's always nice to try expensive makeup but not break the bank. I found this new makeup place. They actually have one in my city, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm not gatekeeping this at all. I'm like gonna share. It's called the Cosmetics Company Store. It looks like this. And like they have like MAC, Estee Lauder, um, Tarte. Like they have like a bunch of really, really big brands. And yeah, you can get like a really good deal and stuff. So I just thought that was so cool that they had that because like $7 for a MAC lipstick is what it should cost. <laughs> but this cream bronzer smells so good. Oh my God, wait. I'm like, am I getting into the luxury game? Because I am a cheap girly, but more expensive products means they smell good. I'm kind of into it. Super pretty cream bronzer. Look at my forehead. Isn't that pretty? Wow, a win's a win. A win's a win for blush. Since we're on the train of things smelling good, I'm going in with the She Glam. It's so good. Uh, the She Glam Cheeky Color Jam in Afternoon Peach. And this, my friends, is probably my favorite thing ever. I'm gonna do a little bit of a Shein haul, like a Shein makeup haul, and there's so much makeup on my list, like it's not even funny. All right, now we blend. Trust the process, Marley. I like how I was just complaining that it was super cold and now I'm like really hot. <laughs> this blush is like such a good color. It's just so good. And it smells, oh, it smells so good. Can they just make all makeup like this? I will literally be repurchasing like three more of these because I never want to run out. They're so good. I kind of overdid it on the side that I'm blending out right now, but we're, it, we can fix it. It's not a big deal. We're really just doing liquids right now. Okay, now that the liquids are done, I'm gonna go in with powder. The first powder I'm gonna use is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I like this because it doesn't have like a crazy amount of coverage, but it, it gets the job done gonna set my face very gently and then oh, hold up did I get a sheet glam powder and not even know it 
<laughs> when you buy so much makeup that you forget about it. I'm gonna try this powder. I wanna try it with a powder puff. I'm just gonna go in with, tell you guys the shade. I'm going in with the She Glam Baked Glow Setting Powder in light brown. And it opens up like this. And I'm just going to go in with like a She Glam puff. And I wanna test this for under my eyes. Just kind of see what we're working with for coverage. Ooh, she's coverage. That is pretty, I'm not gonna lie. I need to like ration it. I do not need as much as is on here. Ooh. This is probably a little bit easier to use with a brush, but I don't mind it with powder puff. I usually like to set my under eyes with a powder puff just because I feel like you can really, really get in there with like the pressing, baking. I don't know, I'm probably using the wrong words, but I just feel like it gives you so much better coverage than a brush. I cannot believe I'm doing eyeshadow last today. That's the trust I have in the Morphe eyeshadow, you guys. I've never even done a look with this look, with this. Marley, use your words. I've never even done a look with this palette before. <sighs> Sheesh. Okay, it's looking so natural. Okay, I wanna go in with, so we just set the face. I'm gonna go in with like a little bit of a powder bronzer. And I'm gonna take that on. I have no idea. It says a blush brush, but I feel like this is better for contour. Just kind of go in there. When in doubt, blend it out. For blush, I really want to try these new Essence Pure Baked um, blushes. They look so good. I feel like the color I'm leaning to, I feel like it's the more rosy one, but I'm gonna go in with the, the other one. This one is in 05 Pretty Peach, and it's the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. <gasps> Follow is crazy, but I'm not mad at it. I probably should have tested it on its own, because I'm like literally laying right on top of cream blush, but let's see on this side. The followed is crazy on this, like it's everywhere. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> Essence does not disappoint. That is so pretty. Okay, now that I did like the lighter one, I kind of want to layer it with the darker one. And this one's in Cool Coral 07. And this is just a baby bit darker. Like these big blushes work. Like I'm just so happy about it. Are you kidding? I mean, I'm not surprised. I love Essence as a brand, but these are so pretty. Like I haven't put any highlight on and there's just like a little bit of shimmer in there that makes them so pretty. So pretty. It does accentuate my texture, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so that kind of sucks. Maybe I'll do it when I'm having a poreless day, <laughs> but Overall, I really, really, really like it. I'm gonna put it the brow bone on the top and just dust it on my nose as well. Okay, and then I'm just actually gonna go in with this pressed powder. It's a CoverGirl Clean Fresh. This is, I guess, really popular too. I love it. it their Clean Fresh line is so good. This pink compact, release it again, like it's so good. I'm just gonna really put that kind of like on my Guess where the pores are, where the blush just kind of really accentuated. I'm just gonna like put that kind of like closer to my nose, but not touching my cheeks. Just kind of like pushing the powder back in those pores and just kind of helping not accentuate my cheeks basically. So that looks pretty. Also, I've been having a love-hate relationship with the highbrow. I love brow shaping wax, but I went out for, it was my one of my best friend, um, Deandra, it was her 33rd birthday and we went out for dinner and drinks and there was lots of couples. And when I got home, it was kind of patchy. So that's what I find really, really tricky about brow products is if they make your lip, your brows look crusty, nobody's happy with that. You know what I mean? Like nobody wants that. So it's just like, for me, the essence, um, 
gel mascara has never let me down. It's never looked chunky or like you can never look really closely at your brows and see gel. Like they just, it just is very light. It just kind of puts everything in place. But when it comes to, but you're also giving up hold, right? Like these don't hold as tight as the brow shaping wax. However, the wax kind of leaves a residue and it just kind of like moves your makeup, which I hate. So this brow wax, oops, is probably better for like no makeup makeup days. Cause if you wear it with foundation or like crazy eye looks, it's, it can sometimes like pick up the product. All right, you guys, it's time to go in with the eyes. I'm obviously not gonna hold up the palette for each color. So I will just insert the palette on the screen with an arrow pointing to the color I'm using when I'm talking about it, basically. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, so I'm going in with this MSQ brush from Amazon. It's just like this pretty tapered brush kind of deal. And I'm gonna go in with the color Peaches. Ooh, it's pigmented. It is, like it's basically orange. I'm just gonna put that in the socket and blend. Blend, 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 honey. Morphe shadows are so good. I hope their online store doesn't go out of business because I really wanna get a couple more palettes from them. Look, I barely had to blend. If I have to compare with She Glam to Morphe, Morphe takes the cake. I barely blended that, you guys. It literally makes it look like I know what I'm doing and I'm a an idiot, so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not like horrible at makeup, but I, I'm not like a pro, you know what I mean? And this makes you feel like a pro. Like I literally blended for two seconds and it looks really, really good. So, I mean, that is an amazing feeling. I'm gonna keep blending though. Put that color a little bit higher on the socket as well so that when I go in with my darker colors, it doesn't kind of drown it out. I'm literally just taking this higher than my socket a baby bit and blending it. Um, so my socket ends here. I'm just taking it a little bit higher because I do have, oy vey. I literally like mid take my monitor, my external monitor died, so love-hate relationship. It lasted like, what, 20 minutes? I'm charging the other battery again, so hopefully this can work out because I'm probably gonna have to buy like another two batteries for this monitor because it doesn't plug into the wall, it uses batteries. So I feel like I always am gonna have something to complain about though, so we're just gonna ignore it. As I was saying, the reason I'm bringing the color a little bit higher is because you can clearly tell that I have room between the color and my brows. So because we're gonna be putting darker color in our crease later, it only makes sense to bring this color up a baby bit so that everything just kind of looks really blended and natural. Okay, so that's first color. I'm also gonna show you guys my inspo picture. So this is Jeffree Star. I really love Bitch. I really love, like look at the colors. I just think it looks so good, like the dark, I just think, I just love it. So probably not gonna be like exactly like that. Mine's gonna be like the toned down version, but we're still gonna play, we're still gonna have fun. I'm going back into the color peaches. We're basically just going to copy everything we did on the other eye. I really, really like these brushes. These are from Amazon, 10 bucks. You get, I think they're just eye brushes. They're MSQ. The box has pictures. I already did a video on it in my January favorites, but I love these brushes. They pick up product amazing. And I know that like, you know, with eyeshadow, it's, it's your eyeshadow and the brushes. Like it's not just one or the other, so. I really am impressed with these brushes. They're really, really pretty. Okay. So that looks pretty even. Next, I'm gonna go in with a, I need like a little bit more of a tapered brush. This, I think is just a Shein brush, but the reason I'm going in with this one is because it's more of a flatter top, but it's still fluffy. So this can just allow me to get right in the crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Heat Wave to build off of peaches. Ooh, 
was that ever a pretty color? Oh my God, it's gonna look like a sunset. This is so pretty. So I'm just gonna take it like this and just kind of like stick it in the socket, literally just in the socket. This brush fits perfectly in the socket. Stick it in there. Just kind of work it outwards. And then I'm gonna go back in. I need like a bigger brush. This is a super, I think this is like part of the same set as this guy, but this one's basically this one, but fluffy. So this guy is a little bit more tapered and then this one is like, like basically super fluffy. I'm going to just blend both of those into each other and blend up towards my brow bone and just push those two colors up, creating like a beautiful sunset basically. So just, I'm not being perfect here. I'm not really trying too hard. I'm just pushing them towards my brow bone while keeping control of the brush. You can also, if you want, just kind of like drag it on your lid as well, just to really blend it. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with peaches on this smaller, dome brush and just kind of redefine our crease now that we've blended that all out. Okay, now that that's in there, I wanna go in with the color, it's called Grab Drinks and it's like a red. And I'm just going to kind of leave that on the corner and just buff it halfway to the eyelid. So the corner and then halfway. Same thing on this side, corner and then halfway, corner halfway and then I'm gonna take that super fluffy brush with no product and just blend all of that really together this look is coming together and I kind of like it okay next I'm gonna go in with like literally I think I use this for a different glitter. I'm gonna go in with like a really small pencil brush. Cause it, it has like really, really, you can really kind of dictate where you want the color. And I'm gonna put the color spiked in there first, right in the corner there, which is pretty, but it's not quite dark enough. So I'm actually going to take another color. This one's called Contents Are Hot and just stick that in there halfway. Awesome. And then I'm going back in with our medium sized blender. I'm just gonna blend the darker color into the rest of the eye look. And we're just like basically deepening the sunset, which is so pretty. I feel like I'm gonna end up looking like I have a black eye, you guys, but I'm gonna try my best. This is so pretty. Okay, now I wanna go in with like a little bit of concealer to kind of clean up the middle. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. Just gonna stick that on my eyeballs. Also, you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I watch TikToks and like videos all the time, but I'm learning with you guys. This is the Still Brush. I think I got this from Target a long time ago. It's basically just a flat top, flat painter brush, and I'm basically gonna carve out my crease. Or cut my crease or whatever you wanna call it. Not bad for the first time doing a cut crease, although I probably fucked it up on this side. I'm gonna go just pinch this. I know you're not supposed to do that. We are taking our power back, girls. I'm like, you know what? We're gonna make this work. Okay, and then to just blend everything, I'm gonna go in with another separate like little pencil brush and I'm just gonna kind of take, I'm nervous. I'm gonna take Not That Incident, what? Not That Innocent, like really lightly and dust it off and just go in there and blend the cut crease into that pink 
but still allowing it to be a cut crease. So like, do you guys see what I'm talking about? Like right here? So yeah, there's white, but it kind of, there's like pink in the middle that just kind of like blends this color into that cut crease. Pro over here, you guys. Can you imagine if my microphone like wasn't even on? Again, tap off the brush. Just really, really lightly blend all of that into that. Okay, cute. We're, we're redeeming ourselves, you guys. I am just gonna really, really lightly take the pencil brush with the purple. I'm not even gonna put any more product. And I'm literally ever so slightly just blending the cut crease into that darker color. Also adding that dark color back into the corner, but not touching the part we blended. Just putting a little bit of that color back. You kind of have to flip flop. So like if you see colors don't look good, just go back in with the other blush, brush and blend it in the other color until you like what you see. And then I'm gonna take that really, really big fluffy brush with no product and just blend the top right here. Just really smoke everything out super lightly. I need to go in with the tapered one, like the flat fluffy one. Just gently blend out the crease here. Same thing over here. This is your first time doing makeup and you're like, oh my God, she knows what she's doing. I literally don't. I've been disassociated for like the half of the video. <laughs> so here's what we have so far. I kind of like it. This one is Share Gossip and this one is another round. Hmm. I kind of like another round more. I'm gonna go in with another round. I need like a wet wipe. I wanna let you guys in on a little secret. Sometimes I get really, really nervous to film and it gets to the point where it's like debilitating and I like have a hard time like sitting down and doing it. But I just have to like rewire my thoughts and like not talk myself out of it. And then I'm usually okay, but just in case you guys ever feel like kind of nervous or scared to try something new or you're like not nervous about being judged because like I don't really care if people click on my video and laugh at me because at least I'm trying right like at least I'm playing at least I'm going out there and like doing something as opposed to just like making fun of someone on my computer but I don't know it, it, it can be really overwhelming working with color like it can be so overwhelming but now that I'm doing it I'm having so much fun and this is the reason why I'm doing this. Like, this is the reason why I started is because of the feeling I'm feeling right now, you know? So, just, keep, just remind yourself to keep your head up. Okay, I'm going in with an even, ooh, Marley, an even smaller pencil flat brush, and I have MAC Fix Plus. So, we're going to douse the brush, and I'm gonna put it in the shade Share Gossip really scared that this is gonna have fallout. Basically what I'm, what my idea of doing is putting this on the place that we did the cut grease. Oh, oh my God, is that ever pretty? Oh my God. If this is your sign to buy a Morphe palette, you're welcome. That is so pretty. Ah! I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I'm gonna wanna wear this makeup like all night tonight. So yes, I'm literally gonna buy a new Morphe, Morphe palette because look at that. Look, fucking look at that, bitch. Look at that. Valentine's, baby. It's the season of love. Bring out your tits, grab some pink, and kiss a cute boy. I'm just kidding, but like, I don't even know. I'm in like a really, I wanna try these two mascaras, but I'm in, I'm in a mood, okay? I'm in a mood. Also, you don't have to get your tits out if you want. Just do you, girl, but like, I'll have my tits out. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm just gonna build this up with a second layer, not using any Fix Plus, and wow, is that ever gorgeous. I like my Shein palettes, but I feel like I've never actually used like a nice, relatively expensive palette. And now that I have, I think I'm only gonna use Morphe palettes or like, someone gifts me something expensive. Wow, is that so freaking pretty. 
<gasps> should I do a purple in the corner? Thumbs up if I should do a purple in the corner. I think I'm gonna do a purple in the corner, you guys. A purple glitter to cover this part. <gasps> oh my God, is that ever pretty? I need like a highlight color. Wetting the brush. Going in with Share Gossip. This palette is so pretty. If you guys are thinking of doing your first colored palette, usually I would say Shein because it's cheaper and you can like test to see if you like the colors or test to see really if you just like eyeshadow and stuff like that. But if you're looking for a recommendation on like, would you do She Glam or Morphe? I would probably say She Glam, uh, Morphe. <clears throat> And that's just because of how much easier it is to control the eyeshadows. It's so pretty. Oh my God, I've never seen makeup this intense on myself before. I'm really into it. And there's no fallout. Can we just talk about that for a second? Do you guys see any fallout on my face? I'm literally, I did my whole face first and I literally have it like packed on the brush and there's no fallout. We're going in with layer two um, and the brush is not wet this time. Basically just building up what we were working with before. And then I'm gonna go in with Not That Innocent on the pencil brush and just really, really like tap it off and just gently blend that glitter into the color. And then same thing, Not That Innocent. Gently take away a little bit of that glitter and just blend it. You guys are probably like, Marley, why do you have so many makeup brushes? It's literally because I'm so indecisive and I go through brushes like crazy because I'm always making mistakes. This is an even finer tip um, pencil brush. Again, we're gonna try again for the inner corner. I'm spraying it and I'm using the shade Chug Along. This one I can already tell has a little bit more pigment and I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner. Now we're going in with the purple glitter, people. I don't know if I wanna go in with Bomb as fuck, thirst trap, or like candy. Uh, this one's bomb as fuck, this is thirst trap, and this one's like candy. I feel like the eye wants, this is too pink. This one's a little dark, and this one's too light. I think I'm gonna go in with thirst trap. I lied. I'm going in with an MSQ smaller pencil brush because I feel like I need a little bit more control. Spray it. We're going into thirst trap, you guys. And God, am I ever nervous. Oh, it's so pretty. We're definitely going to have to blend it out, but it's so pretty. I'm not even going to get it wet because it's so pigmented. Should I do a wing with it or is that crazy? Does that look crazy or does it look good? I feel like that looks crazy. We're gonna blend and we'll get back to you guys. Maybe I'll go in with that lighter pink like candy. Just to blend the darker purple into the light pink. Wow, that is so pretty. I didn't even think to do that. I'm gonna, br I'm gonna wet the brush and just see if we can get bit more blendability in here. At first, you guys, I was literally scared and now I have trusted the process. For the wing though, I'm not a I'm not really 100% sure of it. I think I'm gonna clean it up underneath, blend the top of the wing into here because we already blended the lid. I feel like I should do this on the other side as well before. What a break, what a, what a, what a, what a break. Okay, not bad for the first time doing a wing. I'm not gonna lie. It's not great, but it's not 
the worst I've ever seen. We're gonna clean it up too, so. Okay, I'm happy with that. Next, I'm really kind of nervous for this, so I think I'm gonna go in just like lightly with the pencil brush that we were using Not That Innocent for and go into, I'm gonna take this with no product and just lightly, it, it was the shade Heat Wave and Peaches and just blend the liner into the top corner here, really lightly almost poking and prodding at the color to kind of blend it in. Now I feel like we need to blend, I'm gonna take this like flat weird brush that I used to brush some stuff off. I'm gonna go in with the color with Attitude and I'm gonna literally go in so light-handed and just blend that dark purple into the sunset color. And then I'm gonna take the uh, flat top, just kind of blend all of that back into the corner. I'm gonna take concealer, and we're literally just gonna follow the wing that we created. Also, this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 20 Sand. And then this one, I'm actually gonna use the Naked Brush because it's bigger and I'm just gonna push it down to move the product down to keep that really, really straight line. And almost like swipe to keep the line as if you were painting. Keep it really clean though and then blend. Tap, 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 tap. And then once you have that line really, really, really sharp, to make it look more blended and natural, ever so slightly, just once you have the line, obviously, once the line's there, just really, really lightly tap it to blend it. And keep the line, but just blend the color into the line so it looks like you blended it with a brush. And there you go. With the remaining concealer, I'm just gonna lightly go above my eyebrow, eyebrow bone, eyebrow bone, and just clean up the top color here. Just kinda blend everything. And there you go. It's like literally cat eye on crack. I'm like obsessed. All right, time to blend this side so pull color down and then go right in for a straight line it's super weird you almost want to feel your skin stretch and then just like pull away as natural as possible all right and then blend 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 and then now that once it's blended in a line obviously you just wanna push right against that color and just blend it out so it looks like you blended it when you were blending the actual eyeshadow and not cleaning it up like a crazy person. This side needs a little bit more blending because I went crazy with the line. But that's why you have colors, right? Like if you go too heavy handed, if you go too light handed, if you make a mistake, you can use the colors that you need to fix it, right? So like I can use concealer or, you know, the color of my skin color to fix the crazy color. I can use purple or the deep purple to fix the line, right? Like you have control, you just have to kind of like pretend you have control. I don't have wing liner, but I kind of like the way this looks. What's that TikTok where it's like, you don't done yourself. You don't done yourself, honey. Give me a camera with no record limit and unlimited batteries. 
and let's do this shit. Also, it's been so long that my TV literally shut off. I'm gonna put it back on so you guys have pretty background. <laughs> this Valentine's Day look turned out so good. We're, honestly, we still have so much to do, but I'm just like, I literally don't even care. I'm like, this video could be an hour and a half and I would not give a shit. Sahara Desert, honey, let's go. All right, I want to, I didn't even highlight yet. Oh my God, I need to pick a highlighter because if I forget to highlight, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, I got new highlighters. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I'm gonna put one out so I don't forget. And this one's probably the perfect shade that I literally just grabbed randomly. It's staggering. It's the new Essence, the highlighter. And look how pink that is. I can't really tell on camera, but this is like literally pink. Guys, I really have high hopes for this Essence highlighter. I'm gonna really like coat the brush and give this a fair chance. <sighs> Do you guys see anything? Should we try this side? Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's like white frosty. Okay, Essence. I'm gonna take this and just literally dump it on top of our brow bone and just blend that beautiful whore sunset into this icy pink whore highlighter. I'm obsessed. Just gonna lightly go in and just fix the brows. Top up the highlighter that I'm using with Becca Lilac Geode. And I mean, if the pink high highlighter didn't say enough, the purple literally goes with my eye look, but like, look at this packaging. It's like literally a lilac bullet. And then we have like a purple pink. Bitch, get into it. Where is my highlight brush? Give me my highlight brush. And this is gonna basically tell us like if the essence did anything. <gasps> you can't be Becca. Look at that. Sit down. Ooh. Yes, the lilac geo just, it just takes me there. Becca has my favorite highlighters. No one will beat Becca. I do like the essence, I don't know. I bought three, so maybe I'll give a couple away, but you just can't beat Becca, you guys. I could do a nude or a I think I'm gonna do the pink, it's really pretty. Or should I do the nude? I feel like the nude isn't, it's not giving. I'm going in with um, Nude by Nature. This is Pale Coral 05. Also packaging, 10 out of 10. So satisfying. Got this from Shoppers for, I think it was like $5, regular 30. Mm, there is nothing like a fresh bullet lipstick, you guys. Oh my God, is this rivaling MAC? These form this formula is beautiful. Mm, it's so creamy. It's really, really pink, but it goes with the eyes in a weird way. I really like it. And because we're in the fashion of pink and glitter, did I just change my mind last minute? I'm going in with the lip gloss. Oh my God, I can't see the shade. Okay, do you guys see this? It's like, do you guys see the reflexes of glitter in there? It almost literally matches my nails. Like there's reflex of glitter in my nails and in this lip gloss. Hello. I don't even know what this um, shade is because like it, it literally rubbed off from me using it so much, but this is like the hooker pink one at Shoppers from Essence. Oh, <gasps> she's gonna sell it. Oh. My God, and the reflexes of glitter underneath like the pinky coral gloss is just. Oh my God, you guys, this is probably one of the most favorite looks I've ever done. I think that's all that's left is mascara and setting spray. Curling my lashes with the She Glam curlers that have like the weird spiky things. These are my favorite curlers. 
Ooh, that was a tight crawl and she hurt a little bit, but. For mascara, I want to try a couple new ones. Oh, I bought two. Okay, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Luminous Lash Paradise, or Voluminous, I'm sorry. And this obviously is going in line with our pink theme today. It's Valentine's. Ooh, I love the wand. It's giving me better than sex. You guys see that? It is separating nicely and giving volume, I will say that. So that's pretty as like a first starter one. Let's see what this one looks like. Whoa, that's fucking big, what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna try this one, CoverGirl Exhibitionist. What? Exhibitionist? And then I wanna go in with the Instant Volume and Link. This is also a new Essence Mascara. And this one is just so good. The wand on this takes a little bit of getting used to, but I do really like it. I'm gonna top it up with the uh, Lash Princess by Essence. And this one is just the false lash effect because obviously I'm not wearing falsies. A little bit of a darker lipstick. This is Coral Garden by, oh my God, is this Revlon? I think it's Revlon. It has the, or Rimmel, sorry, Rimmel on that. It's just gonna darken it up perfectly. That is the, oh. Do not make the, make the lipstick on the teeth mistake again, Marley. You literally ruined Vlogmas by doing that. All right, you guys, that is the finished makeup look, the end of the video. I love you guys so much and I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love playing with new makeup and this is definitely like a first for me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Ah, I just gotta, can't stop looking at it in the mirror. So. By no means is this anywhere perfect, but it was fun and I loved it. And I really, really like looking at myself in the viewfinder and seeing like these really, really purple, purples and pinks and reds and just like everything. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have so much love and light in your life and just know that you are deserving of love and you deserve love and always be the best person that you can be to attract exactly what you want in your life. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys later.